it happens to the best of us. Even me. You get your candle, you light it, it's finally ready to take your jewelry supplies out and you puncture the bag with your tweezers and now there might be some wax in your jewelry. But don't fret, I am here for you guys and I have some tips, so let's get into it. You've taken your jewelry out and you've patted it all down, but you still notice there's a little bit of wax in your jewelry, in your necklace, in your ring. But that's okay guys, it's okay, because I got some tips for you that are foolproof that are going to help. The first one is super duper easy. All you're going to need is some warm water and a cup or a bowl or your sink. Okay. Okay, so it's not too bad. This is gorgeous, but I can definitely feel a little bit of wax still on it. But that's easy to take care of. So let's get right to it. So of course, number one, get a nice paper towel, get your waxy jewelry, and just get in all the cracks and crevices and really soak it up. That's the initial first step for, for, for sure in all of these things. There are a couple ways you can handle this, but this is definitely the first step. Super gonna help. Very nice. Then if you notice that it's still a little too waxy for your liking, that paper towel actually helped a lot and it's a lot less waxy now. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave this one fine, but I'll show you what happens if we get our necklace all waxed up. So first I'm going to go put my kettle on and wait a little bit so it cools down. And then I'm going to pour my kettle, my water into this little clear bowl ramekin thingy and I'm going to show you what to do. Kettle. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of hot water into my ramekin. Boom. Then I'm doing this for you guys, okay? Just for you because I love you. I'm going to take my melted wax from my candle and I'm just going to show you what a real waxy piece of jewelry looks like. Oh goodness. Doing this for you guys, okay? Ah. Okay, we got some wax here. So I am going to pop this waxy little fella into my ramekin with my hot water. Just gonna tuck it all in. Now you're immediately going to notice that the wax is going to soften, which is just what you want. So also you're going to notice, hopefully you guys can see on camera, there it is. That is a little wax bubble. So the wax will also bubble to the surface of the hot water, which is amazing. <laughs> then you can swish it around. I'm going to use my old toothbrush head just to kind of help the process along. Then I'd say give it around hmm, maybe five minutes in the water, just to really let it soak until you see all of those wax bubbles on the top. Then, you can, once you're done and you know you're done soaking it, you can take your paper towel, like a nice dry one with no wax on it, and dip it in and just let the wax absorb into your paper towel so you don't have to dump it down the sink. Then you can just throw it out. Boom. Okay, so I've let it soak for a while. Now I'm going to use my same process as before and just take it on a nice dry paper towel and just get it like Squeeze it, I guess, just to help soak up all the wax. And then if you're still seeing some wax on it, or maybe within the chain, that actually worked really well for me. So I dipped it pretty hard and there is pretty much no wax at all on it. And that was just from putting it in some warm water. But if you're still seeing wax, take your cutie patootie little old toothbrush and you can kind of just gently scrub it where you see the wax dipping it in the hot water to get it off um then you can also take your you know wipe it off scrub it a little bit more if it's in like little cracks and crevices in the chain just take your toothbrush and gently scrub it you can also use a mild soap for this or maybe a jewelry cleaner if you have that but we always double wrap our jewelry in one piece of plastic, then another, and then wrapped in tinfoil. So it should be safe, but just in case you poke it or maybe you tear it, who knows? Now you know how to fix it in case an accident happens. All right, enjoy your jewelry, guys, and tag me. I want to see at Jackpot Channels. And while you're at it, you might as well give us a follow and give us some love on all the socials. All right, guys, we'll see ya.